is this bad news for Apple, bad news for the rest of tech, worse for some, better for others? Ah, uh, you said it right. I mean, the the Fang stocks, other than a Apple, have no real exposure to China, and I don't think, other than perhaps Google, Alphabet, that anybody expects any of the Fangs to be in China anytime soon. So I, I would say there's very little in their you know in their market cap that reflects in any kind of expectation of moving into China. So you know China weakness is probably not going to impact any of them directly. I think you know uncertainty over trade policy is an issue and I think that's a, obviously it's a market issue. Um, it drives concerns about you know the potential for a recession and that you know to the extent that consumers are impacted by a recession that's going to hit netflix that's going to hit amazon um, facebook and google less so clearly because they're not really consumer driven they're but they're advertiser driven um, facebook has its own unique issues netflix has its own unique issues and you know so i think that those two have probably dropped more than the others primarily because you know people are worried about security and safety and privacy with Facebook and the potential for government regulation and they're worried about you know the continuing strong uh, you know demand for streaming in the face of Disney launching its own service and pulling content from Netflix Amazon is more you know immune from that I mean, obviously the, a weak consumer is going to hurt them and Google Alphabet is completely immune from that. So, you know, you've seen in their share pr price declines, the ones that have gotten hit more are the ones with specific problems and the ones that have gotten hit less have, you know, lighter problems. Now, you know, if you look at the bigger picture, Apple has lost $445 billion in value since October 3rd. There are only four companies that are actually worth more than what Apple has lost. Amazon, Microsoft, Alphabet and Berkshire Hath Hathaway. Facebook isn't even on this list. I mean, you know, when you look at the numbers, Michael, they really are dramatic. You know, does the market get better from here or is there a, a ways to go down? Well, I mean, Apple, well, the fangs, including Apple, are, you know, responsible for a, a giant chunk of market gains in the last few years, and they're clearly responsible for a giant chunk of the market decline in the last few months. So, absolutely, you know, the the, the stocks that go down uh, that have the biggest market cap have a greater impact on the overall market. Um, I, I think some of these valuations are crazy, you know. And I heard one of your earlier guests comment about Wedbush and Apple. That's my colleague Dan Ives. Um, Dan thinks Apple is worth a ton. You know, he thinks it's it's popping right back up to 200. Um, I I can see paying a relatively low multiple for a company like Apple, and Dan certainly believes that. Uh, same with Facebook. Facebook's not going away. People aren't going to just turn off their accounts, not two billion of them. Amazon's not going away. There's no real competitive threat to Amazon. They're going to keep growing. Same with Alphabet. The one of the fangs that I think has some risk is Netflix because they don't own enough of the content that we watch. You know, they own some, their originals are something like 35% of the hours viewed, but their owned originals are probably closer to 5%. So they're pretty vulnerable when, when Disney and Amazon start bidding up you know, for content, it means that Netflix's costs are going to rise at the same time as their revenues are under pressure. So I've had a sell on this thing because I've, you know, I've seen the matrix for the last seven or eight years, and it seems like the market is finally beginning to see it as well. Um, but no, I think Apple's decline, this, this large loss of market cap, just tells you the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Now on Netflix, shares have always been volatile, but in the last two weeks, shares have spiked back up. Goldman just uh, today put it on its conviction list saying it's a top stock and it's a very polarizing name. You know, we had one guest earlier this week say Netflix could be the AOL of OTT and another who completely disagreed. Why such binary views? 
Yeah, I'm on one side of that. So, uh, look, I, I think the simple analysis for Netflix is that they don't own very much content. Um, our count is that they own about 2% of the content on the service, and that's not enough to, to constitute a private label brand. So, you know, at, at the end of the day, they're a retailer of other people's content, and their own stuff is 2% of what they've got, and they're not going to replace the other 98% for another decade or two. Um, if Disney and Fox pull content, that's literally about 20% of everything on Netflix. If Warner and NBC Universal follow, that's the Hulu owners, um, then you're looking at more like 60% of all Netflix content. That's a problem. So they're, they're super vulnerable because their suppliers can yank content. That's just not true of Amazon. Like, there's no chance any meaningful supplier is going to dent Amazon sales and pull all their content. Yes, Louis Vuitton doesn't sell bags. Oakley doesn't sell sunglasses on Amazon. But, you know, they never have. Those guys are, you know, brands that are trying to protect pricing. Not true of just, you know, average uh, vendors of iPhone power cores or, or paper mate pens. Those will be there. You cover Facebook as well. Do you think Facebook will overcome its trust issues this year? I, I, you know, I, I think that uh, they probably need to bring in an adult to, to, to run the company. Uh, I thought Sheryl Sandberg was that adult. She's been tainted lately. I think Zuckerberg's going to have to bring in somebody. You know, we saw some speculation that it was Ken Cheneau from, uh, from American Express. Um, it's going to be somebody who Wall Street has confidence in. And it, when that person says, trust me, I'll fix it, I think that investors will fix, well, I'm sorry, will trust them to fix it. People don't trust Zuckerberg right now. He's he said, I'm sorry, every single time. And yet there's a new revelation almost every week. So if they bring in adult supervision, yes, I think that stock screams all the way back up to 200.